Welcome to this lesson on number patterns, specifically the arithmetic sequence. In the previous lesson, we looked at the four elements of which every uh, sequence consists of. It was terms, term values actually, term position, the general term, and then the identifiers. Now, the arithmetic sequence, let's start from the bottom. The arithmetic sequence has the following identifier. Okay, the identifier... is the constant difference. We've already looked at that. Constant difference. And what we mean by that is when we subtract consecutive terms. That means terms that follow on each other, like term 2. If I subtract from that one term 1, then I must get the same answer that I would if I subtract term 3, or actually term 2 from term 3. So the basic example that I can maybe give, let's do an example in pink. Okay, the example will be in pink. Let's say we have 11, 17, 23, and 29. Now you'll notice that when we subtract consecutive terms, in other words, terms that follow on top of each other, this is term 2. That is term 1. So when I subtract these two, 17 minus 11 gives me 6. This is term 3. Term 3 minus term 2, 23 minus 17, again, it gives me 6. And now I can see that that is equal. In other words, we have a constant difference. And that value, that 6, we're going to give it a special variable d. D obviously representing the constant difference. The next thing we're going to look at is the general term. Now the general term, if you would recall, is a formula which we can use to find any term in the sequence. The general term takes the following form for the arithmetic sequence. A plus N minus 1 D. This is the general form for the arithmetic sequence and we'll make a video later on just proving where does this general form come from, the general term. What we've already encountered in this video is we've encountered the number D. D obviously representing the constant difference. We also know what N stands for, since we've encountered him in the previous video, N represents the term number, or the position that a term finds itself in a sequence. So what is A? A is actually very simple. A just represents the first term. So alpha term, that's why we use an A, the first term. And the first term can also be represented with T1. D, we said, is the constant difference. Let me keep it short. The constant difference. Now, once we have those values, so for example, in the example I gave earlier, the first term, here's the first term, that must be the value of a. This is the value of D. And N, we don't want the value N yet. N, we want to be general. So if I wanted to write the general formula for that term, it would be TN, or for the sequence, pardon me, would be 11 plus N minus 1 that's just the standard format times the 6. 6 represented as the constant difference. Now, we could, if you wanted to, just simplify that. So we have 11 plus 6n minus 6, or simply 6n, 11 minus 6 is plus 5. 
Now with that we can take any term number and find the term value. So for example T4, let's just test with T4. 6 times 4 gives me 24 plus 5 gives me 29. Just as a confirmation, we did have 4 terms up here. Here we go. The fourth term was 29. T4 was 29. Let's say that, well, maybe they ask me to find the hundredth term. The hundredth term would be 6 times 100. So 6 in the place of the n, we now replace the 100 plus 5, which would be 600 plus 5, easy one, 605. And so forth, we can find any possible term given the term the term's position which term is equal to 311 the question here is whether they are asking us to find the term value or are they asking us to find the term's position if they were to ask us the term value, they would have mentioned something about the position. For example, which term is in the so many of position, position? Alternatively, they could ask us for which position is a certain term in. So they ask us which term is equal to 311. What is the position of the number 311? Therefore, now they're not asking us for Tn, they're giving us Tn, they're asking us to find the position. So we know that Tn is equal to 6n plus 5. From there, we know that Tn, we already have the value at the position, and we simply need to solve this simple equation. Solving it gives me 306 is equal to 6n, Dividing both sides with a 6 gives me that n is equal to 51. So the 51st position is equal to 311. You will always find a natural number as your answer. If you do not find a natural number as your answer, you have made some sort of mistake because we don't have comma positions. I think that's enough for now. Uh, good luck. Try a few on your own now.